question one have a go okay now multiplying fractions this is the easy one you just simply do the top number times the top number so two fours are eight and the bottom number times the bottom number three fives are fifteen so our answer is eight over fifteen now for part B to do a division we really follow a three-step process keep the first fraction the same so that's still two-thirds turn it from being a division question into a times in question and then flip over the second fraction so rather than being four over five it's now five over four you've now converted it into one of the easy ones top times top bottom times bottom two fives are ten three fours are twelve that's ten over twelve which simplifies to five over six question two have a go so uh, I'm doing both of these together because it's a very similar process Bef to be able to add or take away fractions we've got to have a common denominator that means the same number on the bottom best way to find out a common denominator is just to times the two numbers on the bottom together so for five threes are 15 so we've got 15 on the bottom for both of these now we need to convert this first fraction four fifths into something over 15 what have we done to that five to scale it up to 15 well we've times it by three five threes are 15 so to keep the fraction the same we've also got to times the text num top number by three four threes are 12 same process over here have we turned that three into 15 well we've times it by five so also times the top number by five one five is five so for both of these we've got 12 over 15 and 5 over 15 obviously for adding we add the taking we take 12 and 5 is 17 12 take away 5 is 7 be very careful make sure the denominator stays at being 15 don't turn it into 30.